All right, here to test your reduced pressure zone assembly. Uh, yeah. I'm going to flush test cocks. I'm going to open test cock number four. Slowly, let it run. That's got one, close, two, and close, three, close, and close test cock four. You want to open test cock four and let it flush through the assembly. That way you will not exercise the relief. I'm going to hook my high side hose to test cock number two, my low side hose, test cock number three. Open my low side. Open my low, low control valve. It open. Open my high side. Open my high side control valve. Close it. And close my low side control valve. Then I'm going to close my number two shutoff valve. I'm recording my line pressure. It's 55 PSI. I'm going to observe my first check reading, which is at seven pounds. So I can go ahead and proceed with my test. First thing I want to do is operate and check on the relief valve to make sure it's working. It's got a two pound spring minimum. So I'm my low control, two, two turns. It cracked my low control valve, a quarter of a turn. Watch as the water drops out of relief. I create a cross connection. I'm running the high pressure water on the low pressure side. And my relief valve started dripping at 2.8. Close my low control side. So my relief valve passed. So I'm going to do a wet connection. I'm going to crack this. Crack up my bypass hose. Look at the test cut four. Close it. I'm going to open test cock four. Repressurize my low control. Then I'm going to open my bypass valve two full turns. And what we're doing now is checking back pressure on our number two check valve. High pressure water is coming through the gauge, going through the bypass hose. And there's no drippage from my relief valve, so number two check valve is holding tight against back pressure. It's not leaking. Now I'm going to check my number two shut shutoff valve to make sure it's holding tight, not leaking. So I'm going to close test cock number two and watch the gauge. The gauge is holding steady, and so it passed. Number two shutoff valve is holding tight. So now. <clears throat> We can check our number one shutoff valve, closing, closing my load control valve, my bypass valve, excuse me. I'm repressurizing, bleeding it, closing it. My number one check valve is holding at 7 psi. My relief valve open at 2.8. So I track the 2.8 from the 7 pound to get my buffer and that will be Anyway, it's it's above 3 so it passed So now number one check passed and I'm gonna go on and then close off test cock two Three and four take off my bypass hose I won't need a black hose anymore. I've removed my low control, my green hose, low hose. Move on to test cock four. The high side hose on test cock number three. Open test cock number four. Open my low control, 
Well, let it run. Open the test cock three. Bleed the high side control valve. Then close. Then close my low control valve. We need a one pound minimum. We're checking the number two check valve for the direction of flow. And it's holding at two pound, so it's above one pound. So my number two check valve is good in the direction of flow. So I take and close my test cocks. Remove my low control hose, my low hose, my high hose. Make sure all my test cocks are closed. And restore the water back to the customer. And we have finished doing the RP test.